So tonight I'd like to um, introduce some clips from Volker's film um, as a kind of way into talking to all of you about, about your work together. What's, what's, what's really nice about this panel, actually, is that you all know each other really well. You know, it, it, you have like a, a really quite long working relationship in all these different ways. You know, um, as a filmmaker, Volker, I know that you, you, know, you guys got to know each other pretty well, didn't you? You know, it wasn't just like he, he came and followed you around. You kind of became friends and yeah. collaborators, right? Well, <coughs> everything is, is possible to um, how you think. Mm -hmm. If you... Um, we, we, we're talking about life itself and the future. So we see the image inside even after we bring it to life. Right. You see it in the end. Like the image in the film? Yes, yeah, sorry. Yeah. In here. Yeah, yeah. Then so we're kind of always making you film. bring it out. Yeah, yeah. I, think, I think Volker's film really, really does that. I think he really helps to bring out all kinds of different visions for you. Mm. And um, I, I think we could start with a clip just now, just to kind of get into the, to the mood of, of, of it. Um, so if we could watch film clip number one. <laughs> what does it need to do a good song? Oh. You have to put something that's originally what God said. Like those ways of sin is death, gives of God eternal life. There's a story you have to tell. Mm. Now you will be blessed for that. And if you think something that leads them astray, you will be responsible for it and you will be burned. You are responsible as an artist. Yeah. They will them follow you. But then an artist is a teacher all the time. Depending on who the artist I work for, I work for God. Mm -hmm. God teach him as I work with the devil, the devil teach him. He devil tell the, the artist who work with him what to say, what to sing. And also God tell the people who work with him what to say, what to write, what to sing, what to teach the people who God responds, God responds over. I think that's a really strong kind of statement about, about what you know, what you think music is for, what is the song about? And um, I wanted to ask you about that, like why there's such a strong sense of responsibility there and um, why does an artist have such a responsibility? Well, um, <clears throat> before we born now, uh, uh, did God make us all have a map? Map? From a map, yeah. They say, you go, you go there and you must do this. So you come here like a baby an angel, and after you discover that you have some people to take care of, well, these are my people. <laughs> so I am a gift from God to my fans. So making a song is, is, yeah. is the gift to the fans. And yeah. I think like now, I mean, the world is, there are so many things going on in the world that are difficult right now, so much suffering for a lot of people. and. Um, I mean, that's always been the case through history, right? But I think now is a time where perhaps music, you know, the power of music is very important. Well, the music is the guide. <clears throat> the music guides people, and actually, you hear a song, and you, you share a vision like you know exactly what the person trying to say. So the music is um, the shepherd, and we are the sheep of the pastor. Mm -hmm. Without music, you're unhappy and miserable. So with music, you can smile and have a drink or what's never. Without the music, it would be too sad. I think you're right. I mean, yeah. just this, this weekend has been all about how important music and sound is to all of us. So it's, it's absolutely true. Um, Volker, when you were making the film, um, yeah. this... There's quite a lot of interviews in, in the film um, with Lee where you're talking about these kinds of ideas of responsibility, um, what the artist does, what the song is about, you know, this kind of thing. And I felt like you, you really wanted to focus on that. So rather than going into the history of, of your work, you know, Volker's really talking to you about like, what's behind, like, what's the reasoning behind it. And, and how was that for you? Did you find like you were going on a really interesting journey there? Uh, it's a very, very, very interesting journey, of course, and indeed yeah. because uh, everybody knows that Lee is a very special person who carries a lot of secrets that other people don't know and uh, don't have, and I wanted to get a little bit or as far as possible into this, um, into his philosophy, because, because I think it's a whole 
thought out complete philosophy that Lee is portraying. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing. I think it, it is, right? Absolutely. But maybe it's also something that yeah, changes yeah, all the time. Uh, yeah. I'm a baby. <laughs> Still my, learning. My real identification is a fish. A fish. And then I'm playing, I'm a man and a fish. Pisces. A baby and a fish. So, um, this is your fish baby. This? <laughs> And yeah. I mean, obviously, like, you know, <coughs> this this kind of thinking is, is is something. When you're around Lee, you're around this all the time too. And I, and I I think it must be. I mean, for, for you working as a musician to sort of work with someone who has such a strong idea about what music is for, what it's what it's like spiritual purposes, things like that. How has it how has it influenced your own methods of making music, working with Lee? Well, I think just the idea that Lee has of a of a higher vision motivating the music is something that's somewhat unique these days, you know, a, a spiritual vision behind the music because, uh, you know, so much music, especially coming from the States where I'm from, is very, I would say, like, selfish. You know, popular music is very oriented towards just uh, creating, you know, I don't need to name names, but, like, self-aggrandizement sure. is a big theme. And for Lee, I feel like he's got a vision that's for the betterment of society and uh, you know focused on nature and spiritual goals and I think that makes everyone in the band feel like we're on a we're on a mission even coming here today we came from a show in France we didn't sleep we went right to the plane it was just yeah, you know we yeah. feel like we're, we're there's some importance behind it's like a driving force that we ha have to do this I feel like he has to do that and when we're, you're around him we yeah, yeah. get on that same wavelength yeah. How do you feel about that, knowing that you've given that kind of feeling well, to these guys? Uh, it's okay because uh, I see the vision, I'm from the water, mm -hmm. I'm a fish in the water. Fish, yeah. So I see the scream, and the water is the scream. <coughs> uh, through the water you can see how things are, through the water how things are possible. So I'm in a boat. You're a fish in a boat? Yes. How does that work? Uh, this is my boat. <laughs> ah, that's amazing. That's kind of blown my mind, actually. That's my boat. That's the boat for the fish. Yes. I get it. I love the fish in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I see through the rain. Yeah, yeah. I see through the rain, uh -huh. through the water. Yeah. And I have another eye here. That talk the to me eye. right there. Yeah, yeah. Can, you, can you hear through the water as well? I have one eye here that talk to me. What does it say? They call it they the sun. Amazing. The sun talk to me from here. Because this is a baby brain, <laughs> a painter, mm -hmm. a fish. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a Pisces, actually. You're a I'm Pisces, saying. aren't you? Yeah. yeah. You're born in March, 1930. So I, I'm yeah. trying to be a, a, a human being, but I'm a fish. Yeah. Well, we all come from the sea, right? Originally, yeah. we, we originate from... Somebody fish, has to feed so. the people. Oh. And that's the fish. I am their feeder. <laughs> <laughs> spiritual feed them, spiritual rain water, sea water, bath, and I have a good bath, and I believe in my poop. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've all got to believe in, in that. Poop. It's important. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> It's the ultimate creation. It right is there. the ultimate creation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's something that we all, that we all have in common yeah. for sure. Um, it's the baby's, it's the baby's yeah. first creative act, right? It is. The first thing yeah, the baby does. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, when you talk about these things, I get, I get all these really strong images in my mind. And um, <laughs> <laughs> from the sublime to the, to the less sublime. Um, and, you know, I mean, it, it just reminds me, and just looking, looking at you and meeting you, um, um, what an uh, intensely visual person you are. I mean, we associate you with someone who works really deeply with sound, uh, which of course you do, but increasingly I, I think that, and this is one thing that Volker's film really does, is recognises that you work with vision and with material and with art and with paint. And we can see just above, above here, I hope you can all see, well, these are these 
amazing paintings, uh, which Lee made with the artist Maria Sagarocci. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, could you tell us a bit about those, Lee? Do you, can you... Vision of Lightning. Yeah, yeah. It's from the light. Mm -hmm. And uh, rain, that's what I was saying, the water. As the rain drop. Rain and uh, the, the lightning is from here. Mm -hmm. And you work on these paintings together with Maria. Like, how, how, did you, how do you do that? Does like one of you start, the other one follows? Is it like this kind of process or...? The whole thing that happened. I survived through the light. With the light, all things are possible. With the light, you know, it's not impossible. With the light, without the light, you will stumble. Right. So I, I, when I wake up, <clears throat> if I don't see the sun, the sun will know I'm not happy. So anyway, I, I work, the sun tries to, to go with me, to show me the light. And if, I, if the sun is not there, I won't be happy neither, because I won't be seen properly. Yeah, because painting is all about... Well, I see it through the light, with lightning sure. eyes. Sure, sure. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the key to all, like, the way painting works, yeah. right? It's, yeah, yeah. it's all about the, the, use, the use of light as a kind of yeah. material in, it, in itself. Um, you, you can't paint in the dark. Well, <laughs> no, I mean, you could try, but like... <laughs> you never know what might happen. You know, you could try. I'm sure it would be great. Um, yeah, and, I, mean, um, I was just going to say about the yeah. painting, I feel like knowing Lee and seeing, you know, being around him every time we go on tour, there's like his hat and his boots. It's like a yeah. constantly evolving project he's just creative non-stop and I Absolutely. often think of that as a metaphor for his whole creativity even the band we kind of feel like we're his paintbrushes and his paint when we go on stage <laughs> right, you, know, right, right. you know he's just painting with sound or he's painting with paint and you know we're, yeah. we're the paintbrushes to, for him to yeah. you know manifest that vision sure and I think that kind of process of constant addition and collage well, it's, and layering it's, it's magic uh, it's magic but it's magic, also yeah. like the key to kind of dub I think as well as the process of removal and addition and taking away and, and like nothing is finished right no yeah, magic magic yeah <laughs> 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 and that's another way of saying magic really isn't it <laughs> I, think, yeah. I mean that's the thing too is that you know like his art is constantly evolving even when we do a show we will <laughs> <laughs> smells good yeah. even if it goes well he, he wants to keep making changes and I think yeah, that's yeah. something that's uh, you know ganja part of the secret <laughs> yeah <laughs> are you offering me the ganja the ganja magic yeah. <laughs> yes. it certainly helps yeah, yeah. magic magic um, so, yeah, talk, I mean, to continue, I guess, talking about visual art, I wanted to, um, there's another painter that you've worked with, uh, Peter Harris, who's, yeah. um, who's a, a British painter, and we, there's, there's a clip from the film which shows you working with him, so I'd like to um, maybe play that right now, and that's number no, two. Not? Is that cool with you? Okay. Well, magic. Yeah. The British artist Peter Harris came for a painting session. The spirit will speak, Lee told me before. Everything is possible in art. Thunder. I like all that big blood running. Yeah. Make it so. Get down, down. Okay, onto the his shoulder. Yeah. Like rain drop. Yeah, okay, cool. I love that. Amazing. Do you want to put any words anywhere? Maybe you might call this a bench. Find this. In black words. Okay, yeah, it's a bench. Yeah. So mind we don't kill anything here, right? Oh yeah. 
Yes. You don't think positive? Huh? You see what I'm thinking perfect? Yes, perfectly. Huh? It's an amazing night. It is. I love it, it looks really yeah, yeah, excellent. Yeah. Huh? That's great. I can't believe how much has changed. Huh? I can't believe how much has changed. I came here for some bread and I came away with a feast. Yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. When you first begin to work with him, it's quite frightening because you've worked on this one half of this idea and you bring it to him and then he just does something completely mad, like with the drawings, the first thing he did was he started to cut them up and replace them. So it's frightening, but it's really exciting as well. And, and what I like about it is Noel. it takes oh, the work completely away from, from what you would do. Like another one, huh? Well, um, we did come to, uh, to let the Buckingham Palace discover that uh, we have to eat. And Buckingham Palace, too lazy. The Queen, too lazy. Uh -huh. um, they are, they are, they are, I think they are parasites. They have to, we have to pay all these tax to support them. And their soldiers and things like that. I think it's ugly. For sure. Yeah. So the, the God sent us here to put a judgment on those people who want to live free of other people and bring them down and get them old and something like that. And that is why you're writing on your painting, like, avenge <laughs> and all this. Yeah, it's kind of avenge, an angry message. Uh, revenge. Revenge. Uh, avenge the... <laughs> Well, I think, you know, as a Jamaican, you are fully entitled to be avenged on the British monarchy because <laughs> they colonised your country for... They were not looking for me. They were looking for you, but no. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but look, I wanted to just get back to your to your place in Switzerland and yeah. working in the secret laboratory there, your your studio in Switzerland, because I think that clip really shows what it's like there. And obviously, Volker, you spent a lot of time there filming. You must have amassed hours of footage. Yeah, but I, and what I, was it like? It was quite wide when we met first, isn't it? And then, and then layer by layer, by layer uh, Lee painted <coughs> and glued every day. <laughs> new messages, new pictures, isn't it? I, I want to say, too, one of the things about those paintings, I noticed in both uh, visual art and in music, Lee's got a lot of themes that, that come up um, that are sort of consistent, you know, and um, we were laughing about it recently because we were in an airport somewhere in the Midwest, which people don't know, it's like called the Bible Belt, and someone asked us at the airport if we were a Christian rock band. <laughs> and what did you say? I think we said yeah. yes. I don't know. I can't yeah, remember. I mean... Well, you know, it's funny not? because Lee had a cross on his bag, and they, they saw that, and uh, it made me think a lot about Lee's spirituality and his vision because, you know, it's... You know, Rastafarianism and Christianity are... You know, no. the, yeah, it's like one thing, but yeah. also, you know, in the art, there is a lot about thunder and water and lightning, and uh, nature is a big part of that. That you know, it's it That's doesn't it. necessarily have anything to do with the church. Like the fact, life sources. Yeah, the and, life sources. And you still start from the. the I mean, I see the in the film you start with the with the Bible sometimes. Where like when you're starting to write a song, you you take the Bible, and this is like the. I have the thing here. You have the Bible here too. You have it with you at all, <laughs> yes. at all times. But, um, it's a funny, brother. I mean, it's one part talk. of the film I remember is is. It's Lee's He's writing a song using the Bible as a starting yeah. point, which is, oh wow, we, yeah. have, we have the Bible. There's a lot of things in that bag. Don't we to hold it. There you go. <laughs> so where are, which, which book are we in right now? Psalm 89. Okay. A couple <laughs> magic feathers. <laughs> Why don't you tell me about I feathers, my merge. <laughs> Every time you see a feather, it's a, there's a message in it. And this, yeah? I made the music 
This is my music rod. Trees. Mm -hmm. I believe in trees. I believe in breeze. I believe in rain. I believe in water. Mm -hmm. I believe in my poop. <laughs> also, also yeah. with the paintings, Joe, I yeah. was thinking how uh, he talked about Lee going and getting the scissors to cut, yeah. cut up the paintings. That's one of the things about Lee, too, that, you know, he's not afraid to destroy creations as right. much as he is to create them. And for a lot of people, yeah. that can make you nervous, you know. Can, yeah. Sometimes that's a test. I feel like he'll, he'll test you to try and destroy some things and see how you, you react. I think that's so important as well, though, as art, any kind of artist, to be able to just, like, get rid of something as yeah. well as to create something. I mean, you've, obviously, you, you play live with, with Lee, but you've worked on some records together as well. And what's that bit. process been like? Has it been that kind of thing of, of like, going right back to basics sometimes and surprising I mean, yourselves? To me, the most uh, creative sort of mm -hmm. collaborative energy is actually from the live performance in that the studio mm -hmm. stuff kind of uh, comes out of everything we learn from, from working together, that I learned from working together with, with him, is just trying to take that vision of what we've done on, on stage. Because mm. really, like the energy we create in a live performance, especially these days with music, mm. you know, okay. or I don't know, recorded music has been so sort of devalued. I feel like the live performance is, uh, you know, someone came up to me after the show the other day, told me he wasn't on any drugs, but he had like a spiritual experience, almost like it, what he was yeah. in, a, he's described it as like a voodoo trance. Right. And that actually happens often, whether people are on drugs or not after the shows. It's one of the most common things yeah. people say to us. And I feel like that's, uh, I used to joke that the tour, when we were coming to a show, it was the Church of Lee Scratch Perry. To me, it's like the, every night the music's a little different, you know, magic, creating. Magic, magic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. My teacher's name is Merlin. Merlin, the great, like a magician. The magician, yeah, the yeah. great magician sure. master. Yeah. He talks to me all the time. He immortal, eternal, and he never go away from me. I could not survive with the great Merlin. I could never survive without the great Merlin. I believe in Merlin. So he's like a kind of spiritual guide that's there for you. He flashed the wand and lightning yeah. flash. <coughs> Perfect. He stamped his rod and turned the roll. <laughs> then the rain come down. You know, it's, it's funny because... Um, <laughs> <laughs> exactly.